Okay, so it comes in its neat little box and uh, let's have a look what we get inside with it. So we've got the instructions. Technically you don't need them because you'd be using your app to guide you through it anyway. There's an adapter guide that's to help you assess which one to use. But again, the, the app will kind of guide you most of the way. So the first thing that we've got is the actual thermostat. That's what that looks like. And then on this side, we've got two of these. So it all depends on what radiator you're fitting onto. So you're going to be using either one of these and your batteries. And very important tool that you're going to need to uh, put it in. And that's all you're going to need. So we're going to show you how to install it now. So I'm going to talk you through the installation of it. To be honest with you, it's really simple. Um, I'm normally no good at DIY, but I think this is quite easy to follow. So the first thing that you want to do is look at the, the sort of um, radiator valve that you've got. Um, and then I think they just kind of pull off once you've taken that off. Keep that somewhere safe. Um, and the next thing that you need to do is work out what sort of valve you're using. So if you follow through on the app, it tells you which one of these to use. Uh, so the one that this fits is going to be this and you want that to be the end that's showing out uh, and then what we need to do is get our little teeny weeny allen key and we want to screw that in to the radiator So yeah, that's nice, nice and secure on there now. So now over to uh, this side of things. So it comes with two batteries. And, uh, so yeah, we want to take the cover off. You just press that button in there and then that pulls off. Uh, and we just want to put our batteries in there. And you will see straight away when the batteries go in, it already starts to boot up so put your cover back on make, to, make sure it clicks in and then we're just going to screw this into the radiator until you hear a little click there you go i think yep yeah. and then you can bring this round so that you can see that thermostat. Now you see it's flashing with an M. Uh, so that will now be searching for the Hive app that you've got so that they can connect and talk to each other. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what the app setup looks like as well. It's really, really simple. Um, first of all, obviously choose what you're installing, which is the radiator valve. And from there you can hit start and a cheeky little subscribe if you're not one of our regular subscribers. Then make sure you've got everything in the box that you need. Um, and before you start, there is uh, some handy tips and, and things that you might need before you start. So as mentioned in my guide earlier on, make sure that you take out your old valve um, and you can do a valve pin check as well, just to make sure it's functioning correctly. Get a coin and push it down on that pin to make sure that it, it's easily retractable. It goes in and out nice and simple. Um, from here, this is really, really helpful. It helps you identify which adapter you're going to use. Um, so you can identify it by the pictures. In my case, it's the plastic cap. So we go ahead and select that and it tells you which adapter to use. Both adapters use the same screw key, the Allen key thing. Um, so make sure that you fit that round your um, radiator valve nice and tight. And then we're ready to put the batteries into the valve. So once you've put the batteries in, it'll immediately kick up the screen showing the M. That means it's ready to go. It's ready to be found by your app. Uh, and then you can fit it onto the radiator. It'll search for it and then it will come up and you can select it. I'm going to be honest, this is edited. It takes a, a lot longer than that. So be patient. <laughs> and then uh, from there, you can rename your radiator valve. If you've got several, you're obviously going to want to control them in different areas of the house, in different rooms. Um, and then once you've done that, you can go ahead and hit finish. And then you'll be able to control the temperature from your app. I think this is a fantastic bit of kit and especially with the, the rise of uh, 
gas and electric costs, it's going to be a money saver. So I would definitely, definitely recommend it. Well, I hope this guide has been useful for you. And if it has, please make sure you subscribe, leave us a comment below. Let us know of any other content that you might be interested in. And if you have any other questions, uh, please do let us know in the comments and we'll try and respond and give you some hints and tips if you're having any issues. Thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll see you soon.